Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I have a quick tip for you today. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I am mixing up some homemade seed starter mix. Uh, this time of year, it's kind of early. A lot of the garden centers don't have seed starter mix in. They might still have compost and garden soil and all that stuff, probably from last fall. But they generally aren't getting in the seed starters that you would need to start your early things like your brassicas and all of that. So mixing up your own seed starter can come in pretty handy, uh, not only for convenience because you have access to the basic materials, but also economically. When you buy a little bitty bag of seed starter soil, you're getting like what a gallon of seed starter soil and you're paying what seven eight nine dollars for it and being able to mix it up yourself you're gonna get way more bang for your buck so this seed starter uses three things it uses compost it uses basic garden soil and it uses peat i'm going to use this container right here this tub and i'm going to mix it according to the ratio and very simply, the ratio is four parts peat, three parts compost, three parts garden soil. And it doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to use measuring cups. Just kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna use a shovel, okay? Three shovels of compost. Three of the garden soil. And now when you're doing this, because this is for seeds, pay attention to what you're putting in here. If you see any big chunks of wood, uh, any material that is big, just go ahead and pull that out of there because you really don't want that in your seed starter mix. You want your seed starter to mix. You want your seed starter mix to be fairly fine. Uh, if you want to, I mean, you can even screen it. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to go in there and I'm just going to look for any big pieces, any chunks, like right here. Here's a piece of wood, and I'm just going to throw that in the garden bed. Alright, so three of those and four of this. And hopefully it doesn't just explode when I cut it open. close to my tub so if I drop any it's gonna kind of go where it needs to stuff is really compacted in here tight. So I'm gonna throw a little extra in there just because those shovels weren't very full. All right. So now I'm just gonna take my shovel and I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, I got that first layer mixed. Now I'm just gonna do another one.
All right, so there you go, homemade seed starter. I will also include a variation for people who live in very dry climates. That'll be linked in the show notes below this video on the channel, or you will find them on the blog post on cosmopolitancornbread.com where this video is shared. So thanks for watching, you guys. My name is Constance. This is Cosmopolitan Cornbread. And until next time, love and blessings. <laughs>